Eiffel. London. London. My name's Kevin Cassius, this is iFilm London. We're in Rotherham here at Cool Wells Boxing Gym. With me, I've got Jerome Wipeout Wilson. How are you, Jerome, today? I'm not too bad, yeah. not too bad. Just taking over, just getting ready for Saturday. Yeah. What is a typical day here for you at Cool Wells Boxing Gym? Do you want to talk us through it? Yeah, we'll start in the morning around about 8 o'clock. Do a footwork for around about half an hour. Yeah. Skipping, a couple of rounds, pad work, whatever he desires. And, um, just basically a bit of sparring. It's quite hard, doing a, a bit of circuit training. And then in the afternoon, then we'll split up then, do a bit more sparring, more footwork. Just same old, doing, uh, no, doing normal drills, refining the skills. And just basically just practicing and refining everything. What's the general atmosphere in this gym like? Everyone get on with everyone? There's a great buzz in the gym. Um, it's a new gym, which is just opened up um, in about four weeks, four or five weeks ago now. We just moved from a different establishment. So we're just getting to grips with this environment now. Everyone's loving it. Um, everyone, the take. A lot of people are starting to realise that it's a boxing gym and starting to come up. Um, you're fighting on Dave Caldwell's show this Saturday. Do you want to tell us about it? Yeah, I'm fighting a guy called Jeffrey Munica. It's, um, it's I think he's had around about 41 professional fights. He's won more than he's lost. He's from um, Kenya. Um, I know he's a very competitive um, opponent. He comes to win. So I'm going to give the, the fans something to... It's a good, a good show. I'm going to put on a good show for the fans. Um, so I just can't wait to get in there and just do my business, show people what I'm about um, and put on a good competition, a good show myself. How important do you think it is for the small whole shows that go on around the country to keep boxing going? Because like I said, a lot of guys who make it onto the big scene, get all the exposure from yeah. television so, you know, and the internet sites, so wherever. But guys like yourself on the smaller shows how important is this to keep going and you know in order to build your name up it's very important because a lot of the people that are coming to support us just basically will see us from the grassroots levels and obviously with the smaller shows it's, it's, it's quite a small crowd but this one there's going to be quite a lot of people but we build up them we build up a crowd build up our fans so they can follow us onto the bigger shows so it's, it's very important for us because um it's, it's, it's a great it's a great show to be a part of as well uh, how do you find working with Dave Caldwell? Hard. No, it's, it's great. He's a great guy. Are you taller than him? Pardon? Are you taller than him? I am taller than him. <laughs> it's a midget. It's a midget. Only because of it. That's it. At least I can grow here. At least I can grow here, though. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Have you seen his wig? No. Have you seen no, his wig? I haven't yet. Oh, Lord, you need to see his wig. I think he's going to put it on that run. <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy. He knows what he's talking about. So I'm, I've learned a lot from him from the age of 16. Um, it's, it's shown me the the right path, really. So it's, it's great being being part of the, the Caldwell team. Yeah, I think with Dave Caldwell, all, all jokes aside, I think he, um, he's he got enough experience at the highest level working with the Haymaker camp and also to bring that experience down to down to this level. And like that, you know, that experience from him is invaluable, it's I think. Priceless. Yeah, it's priceless experience. So he's been around with the top people, so he knows what he's talking about. He knows how to operate at certain levels. He's building up now, and he's going to make a, um, a good name for himself in the future. Um, he's got a lot of good fighters as well underneath his wing. So he's trying to just, basically, um, just improve our skills, refine ourselves, and basically we look good, he looks good. So that's, that's what we have to do. We have to train hard, listen to what you're saying, learn, progress, keep on learning, keep on learning, just keep on progressing. That's what it's about. All right, Jerome, thank you very much for talking to iFilm London. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir, in Rotherham. It's a bit moody up here for us. We're southerners, you know, we like our things down there. Get my dance. No, I'm missing. <laughs> Get my dance <laughs> No. All right, this is Coogan Cassius with Jerome Wipeout Wilson. Follow him on Twitter, at Wipeout Wilson. Uh, follow this guy on Twitter. Thank you very much. The <laughs> I'm Jerome Wipeout Wilson. Y'all watching iFilm London. I feel blunt, 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 blunt. I feel blunt, blunt, blunt.